Lean fueling lets have a look at some of the damage, causes and solutions to make ourselves aware of this problem. As I've found this issue quite common in the past, I hope this video serves as some awareness towards it and help prevent it from occurring. In this video clip from my full video, I've brought out this information so you can get to it quickly and efficiently should you want to. The full video is in the link below in the description. Welcome to the Repair Specialist channel. I'm Craig, the owner and creator, and having been in the trade for around 30 years, I now make videos relating to the diagnosis and repair of small engines and machinery, and how things work and why, and in layman's terms, using clear visual explanations to help you gain a deeper understanding and a firmer knowledge base. Why? Because knowledge is power. So, let's get to it. Okay, so to answer this successfully, we need to go through what the meaning of lean fueling actually is. So, to keep this simple, when the engine starts to move, air is drawn in through the induction tube and as it does so, it draws out fuel from the main jet. And it mixes with the air in a process called atomization. But it's the ratio between the air and fuel within this mixture that's the key player here. If the constitution of this air and fuel has to be just right in order for the engine to run correctly, then all that lean fueling means is that there's too little fuel inside this fuel to air mixture for the engine to run correctly. We'll take what's considered an optimal amount of fuel and the engine will sound like this. And from there on, start to make the mixture leaner. Then what you'll tend to find is, instead of the engine revs, lowering, they actually start to increase to the point where the engine seems to have far more power until of course it gets to the point where there's so little fuel in there and then the engine revs lower. Why don't we actually set it in that lean state and we're getting higher engine revs and power? Well, running the machine like this is not actually a very good idea. We can see the damage that lean fueling can produce by looking at this piston. You can see the wear marks on the piston there where it's got too hot because of a lack of two-stroke fuel with its oil getting through the engine and that's caused this scoring and this wear. So now we've established what lean fueling actually is, incorrect fuel-to-air mixture settings can cause this kind of lean fueling problem. But that's not the only cause. Sometimes the carburetor can be working absolutely fine. Sometimes it can be an issue where the carburetor or the engine is drawing in too much air from a different place other than the induction tube. All of these areas here have to be totally airtight to keep that mixture in with no leaks whatsoever. Each time the piston goes up to draw in air fuel mixture, it can also draw in air if there's any damage around that gasket. And any extra air upsets that air fuel mixture and we've got too much air in now, making the fuel mixture weak. We'd get the same problem, by the way, if the bolts were loose that held the crankcase to the barrel. And the main seals, of course, are here. And if those seals are damaged in any way, it can draw into the crankcase. There's going to end up being too much air there to fuel. Of course, there is a fix for this, but it's not a simple one. Generally, the engine has to be stripped down to replace these. And it's always recommended that the bearings behind them are changed at the same time. Because when the seals degrade, it's because the bearings have degraded and there's up and down movement in the crankshaft and that's what's pushed against the seals and damaged them. So this kind of work might have to be undertaken by a professional because the engine has to be stripped down and the crankcase has to be parted. It's about as large as a job gets on a two-stroke engine. Now the inlet manifold sits between the carburetor here and the engine. Now one problem that can arise is when the retaining bolt is loose and we get gaps and because of that there's too much air here. Now it's a weak fuel mixture. Just make sure these bolts are nice and tight. The next thing I'd check 
are the manifold gaskets. If this gasket's damaged, then air can be drawn in once again. The manifold sometimes themselves can be damaged and draw in air. And the problems of that are the same as what we've already seen. To make sure that the fuel lines are nice and clean, that the fuel filter's not blocked, and that the fuel vanes within the carburetor are all nice and clear. Sometimes small two-stroke carburetors like those on chainsaws have a screen filter within the carburetor and it's quite common to see this blocked and this can cause a lack of fuel and lean fueling depending on how badly blocked it is. These screen filters can be replaced and they're available within carburetor overall kits. Okay so I've just covered a few of the basic causes. I haven't covered all causes but what I've mentioned are some of what I've experienced. So a really big thank you for coming to the end of this video and I hope you've gained something from it. Thank you for watching.